February is Black History Month, and all month long we'll be commemorating that. Tonight we're introducing you to the Montford Point Marines. Yeah, they're a group of black men who broke barriers when they joined the Marines during a time of segregation. CBS Force Ted Scouten has their inspirational story. A month shy of 93, retired Marine Sergeant Alan Williams still punches the bag. He began boxing when he was just a teen after joining the Marine Corps. I fought Joe Lewis uh, three times. I did pretty good, but I ended up on a canvas. He and another man signed up for service together. He said, I'm going down to the Marine Corps and enlist in the Marines. He was a white kid, so, so we went down together and we enlisted together. From that day on, I've never seen him again. Williams enlisted in 1948, just six years after black men were allowed to join. He's known as a Monford Point Marine. My camp was, was black. Monford Point Marines was a black training center for black Marines. Black and white Marines were segregated. When we owned base, I stayed in my barracks, and they stayed in theirs. White barracks, black barracks. Until until 1949 is when, uh, when it all integrated. 20,000 black Marines went through Monford Point, North Carolina in the seven years it was open. In 1948, President Harry Truman ordered an end to segregation in the military. These Marines paved the way for others, but Williams said many people don't know about them. We weren't really recognized out in, in the public that much. You know, because a lot of times I, I go to, even black people, I go to black people, my, my Marines, they don't, they don't know who we are. I've never even heard of us. More people know now after President Barack Obama awarded them the Congressional Gold Medal. That's my gold medal that I got in 2012. Williams got his 10 years ago. It was unexpected and I was proud, happy that somebody recognized the fact that the things that we had to go through, and somebody noticed us, and it was, a, and, and that felt a great honor. And next week, 101-year-old George Johnson, as well as the late Moses Williams, will receive their congressional gold medals. That'll be at a ceremony here at the African American Research Library. That gets underway Monday at noon. It's open to the public, so everyone's welcome to come. In Fort Lauderdale, Ted Scouten, CBS 4 News.